everybody. I love summer because it gets to be so warm. I really like the warm weather and being able to play outside. Now, when it gets super hot, I like to play with water. I have a bowl of water right here. Lots of friends have told me that when it gets hot, they like to go swimming in a pool. They like to play with sprinklers. You guys also like to play with water. Now, here's a fun project, a fun science experiment you can do using water. Now, if you want, if you have a little pool outside, you can do this in a pool. You can do this in a puddle. You can do this in your bathtub. You can do this in a sink. Or you can get a small or big bin and fill it up with water and play. And while you're playing, you can do this experiment. Now, in order for this experiment to work, you just need some tin foil. Here's my piece right here. Now, I'm gonna rip this tin foil however I want, but I'm not gonna rip it right away. I'm gonna take it easy because I don't want to waste any of it. I'm gonna start by ripping just a little piece. Okay? And now I'm gonna lay it on top of the water. Now look, it is floating. See that? It didn't sink at all. It stayed right on top. Now I'm gonna rip another piece of tin foil that's the same exact size and shape. See? But this time, instead of dropping it in, I'm gonna ball it and crumple it up, okay? Now I'm gonna drop in. Watch the ball. Look, it's still floating. Now what happens if I take a bigger piece of tin foil and I ball it up? Let's see what happens. Does size make a difference? Look, it's still floating. But does everything that you put in water float? No, some things sink like a crayon. A crayon sinks. It goes all the way down into the bowl of water. Now my crayon is wet. When you go outside or you go to the beach, sometimes you see a boat. A boat sails, it floats on the water, right? It doesn't sink like my crayon. It floats on top. Now see if you can get your tin foil to float. Now, depending on how I put this in the water is what'll happen to it. Now I just pushed it in instead of dropping it nicely and look, now it's at the bottom. When, it's, when I lay it nicely, it holds the water. The water holds it up. If I push it and water gets on top, then it sinks down to the bottom. The same will happen at, with a boat that's sailing in the ocean. So long as the boat has no water inside, it floats. The moment water gets in, it sinks. Now these two balls that I made, even though I'm pushing them, are not sinking. This one sank. This one and this one, even though I'm pushing on them, are staying afloat. That's because I balled them up. There's air trapped inside of the ball. How amazing. Oh, I think I got some water on my camera. The, the air is keeping it floating. Whereas this one, I didn't ball it up. So there's no air to help hold it up. When the water gets in, it gets in. Now, if I were to open this up a little bit, maybe I could get it to sink. Maybe I could get some water to go inside. But I did ball it up really tight. What I'm going to do with this tin foil now is I'm going to actually try to make a boat and I want it to look as much like a boat as possible. Maybe I can get my crayon, which has no air inside, it's completely solid. Maybe I can get my crayon to float if I make a boat. So here's my tin foil and I'm going to rip how I want it to look. Now first, I'm curious if I leave it like this, kind of like a raft, if it will float. That worked, look, my crayon is floating. But I don't want it to look like a raft. I want it to look like a boat. So I'm gonna fold it. 
Now you fold it however you want to. How do you think a boat might look? I know a boat has to have sides because without sides, water can splash in if there's a really big wave. And we see from this piece that if water gets in, it's going to sink. And we see from these pieces that are kind of like little submarines that if there's air inside, it won't sink if the water can't get in. So I'm going to put some little sides on my boat. So hopefully no water gets in. See, there's all the air in there. Ta-da! I made a boat. Now if my bowl was bigger, I could do more types of experiments like blowing on it. And just like the wind moves the sailboat, it's going to move my boat. Look. See, it's all the way on the side. When I blew, it moved. That's super fun. That's something you can do in a pool, in a bathtub, in a sink, in a big tub of water, especially when it's feeling a little hot and you want to play with water to cool down. Now I'm going to put my crayon and see if it floats still. Perfect. I know my boat works because it's holding up my crayon. It's not sinking. Now one more thing you can try to do is not just make boats that float, but also see if you can write your name and have your name float in the top of the water. I'm going to take this tin foil and I'm going to crumble it up to make the letter C because my name starts with the letter C. Ta-da! C for Courtney and C for Cookie. Now look, part of it's floating. This part's floating because there's lots of air in there. This part sank a little bit, but that's okay. It's floating in there just like my boat is floating with my crayon. Now if I had a bigger bowl, I can try to write all the letters of my name and see if I can get them all to float across. How cool is that? So friends, here's the challenge for you. Next time you play with water or take a bath, see if you can take some tin foil and make boats. Make stuff that's going to float and then see if you can put your toys in it and have your toys float in the bathtub or float in the pool. And then you can also, especially if you made a little ledge like I did that can catch the air, try blowing on it and making your boat sail. The force of your breath, the force of the air is going to move the boat. It's super cool. And then another fun challenge, if you've managed to do that and you're tired of the boat, is see if you can write all the letters of your name and have them float without sinking in the water. Okay? Friends, I hope you have fun, okay? Bye.